Hey Virgo, type in your four ones, the opening of the spirit realm, and take a beautiful deep breath in. Challenging your human, kissing your higher self, inhale deeply, exhale completely. Divine Source, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to channel verbal spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. I just heard the message is very clear. The picture is very clear. Virgo, I feel like you left November knowing that you got to make some changes, but I see you just moving. I mean, putting it in, putting in the work. But I feel like, you know, you just took a trajectory in your career. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I feel like there's some serious new beginnings in your home and in your family. Uh, definitely have your ancestral altar. And uh, at the end of the month, I feel like you understand what you desire and you understand that you can have it. You will have it. You must have it. You understand what you can do, what you can have, what you can see. And it, it is extremely intuitive. I do feel like you're seeing in your mind's eye what you desire, your vision that is for you. Honor that. It is going to defy your human logic. But it is absolutely your ancestors reaching out to you. And our ancestors want you out in nature way more than you have been consistently. I see some of you hugging trees and being by water. But I just feel like it's, it's on the way to something else. So Spirit wants you to purposely get on out more and just be in nature but I feel, you know, you're halfway there. You're still seeking, continue um, to let go of the unforgiveness, the pain from the past, the behavior that's is very toxic. But you're halfway there. It's tough. Continue to seek out that connection with our creator, with our ancestors. It's okay to be selfish, dear Virgo, in a healthy way. Definitely plant-based solutions, uh, therapy, natural therapy. Definitely fast. Watch your diet. Watch what you are ingesting. Watch what you're around. And I feel like you're just picking up on communication with the universe a whole lot more and a lot more clear lately, clearer. Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, you're releasing your need to please. I feel like you're really, you're just like, you know, Things are changing in the dynamics that you have in with your friends and with family and what you think you have to do. What is it that you feel like you need to say? You're not the end all for everybody. You're not the psychologist for everybody. And I feel like you're just like, you know what? I have to look out for me. And I think that's very, very healthy. I think you've got to do what you know spirit wants you to do and if you're still struggling with that intuitive nudge that's coming in um, from the spirit realm that you need to do like you need to forgive you need to move on you need to forgive yourself you need to forgive the other person you need to um, be okay with other people winning and know that you're still on your journey but you're in your own lane you're still in the receiving season. Those kinds of jealousy and envy things that are coming up, I feel those, that energy that's really tough. Get outside. Get outside because it's, it's very tough, I feel like, for you for that to come up. 
and it's it's there for you to see that you don't have to be perfect work through your fear of needing to let go of that baggage and the fear of looking crazy you know the fear of am I gonna do it wrong you might hopefully you do so you can learn from it and grow from it you know so that's really good I mean when you're able to do it wrong first couple times and get really master it and really narrow in on exactly what you want to do or how you want to really do it it's phenomenal because what, what will happen if you haven't had that time to get it wrong is you do it right, you do it right, you do it right, and you become less humble. And when you do fail, it's a big fail. And I feel like that's when people are committing suicide and people are, don't know how to deal with failure. So Virgo, keep this in mind. When you're working through your fears, oh goodness, it's tough. It's really tough. Meditate. When you feel like, oh my gosh, intuitively I feel like I need to make this step, I need to say this thing, I need to have this conversation, I need to do this and that, and I'm scared. You know, I don't want to look like an idiot, or I just don't want to look silly or foolish. It's all right. I got to take this test. I got to take this exam. I've got to share what's on my heart and soul to my, my parents. I've got to let them know, you know, what my... I'm attracted to the same sex. I'm, you know, whatever it is. I don't want to go to college. Whatever it is. But you've got to know. It's coming. Got to do it. Bring love into it. By really accepting someone for who they are. And you. For who you are. Love yourself more than other people I just heard say that again love yourself more than other people you come first it's happening remember what spirit said I just see you moving 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 it's happening way faster and then you can't keep up but that's great because I feel like spirit is telling you you know come catch me and that's that's just beautiful, so that you know you've got a you've got a, a a path you've got a guide that you are following. It's lit up so that you can see where you're going. Remember to fall back in love with what you do for a living, your work. There's a, I feel like, oh, it's just in the closet of what you're really afraid of, of letting some people go to and releasing. It's in your home life, you know. What are you fearing in the, in the family? I feel like the family dynamics have changed and you need them to. And it's okay. I feel like you're halfway there. Continue to see through your mind's eye. We've got our spiritual sight here and we've got it here too. But get out in nature and allow yourself to be pampered and just appreciated by your ancestors. They want to love on you, Virgo, so much. Honey, they're changing the energy in your marriage to work for you and your spouse. And in your love life, dear single Virgos out there, you're calling in your spouse. We know that that's going to happen. And so work through the fear of looking silly in front of them, of dating again, of putting yourself out there, of being loved, allowing love to come to you. And that energy is gaining momentum. So it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. You're reconciling. You are definitely reuniting with someone. It could be someone in a prior lifetime. So that's your soulmate or a twin flame. But they certainly are coming in because it's karmic. You have learned some lessons here that 
you needed to in order to have the type of marriage that you want and that you deserve. And so, yes, certainly working through your fears to let that happen because the energy is like moving fast. And you want to be on that train, you know. Allow yourself to be pampered, appreciated, romanced. By showing the universe how you want to be treated by your significant other by doing it first. So if you want roses, you want flowers, fresh cut flowers, are you doing that for yourself? If you want to be appreciated for not being perfect, are you appreciating yourself for not being perfect? Or do you have, you know, you give yourself a hard time, criticize yourself for making a mistake? You are being guided here to learn to appreciate or be appreciated for the beauty of just being romantic and being full of self, full of love, and allowing the universe to send that to you. So give it. Give it out to the universe. Give it. You know, if you are appreciating uh, nature you know maybe you're feeding the squirrels or the ducks you go by the water or the lake or whatever it is or maybe you're feeding the birds and you are giving you know you're you're giving fertile energy abundant energy you're being generous and grateful just for their beauty and so what is your spouse going to end up doing right giving to you the same way you give out to the universe. And so are you okay with, with acknowledging that and accepting that as a gift from the universe and being able to just say thank you? Because it's, it's happening. It's definitely happening. This is marriage material that's coming in. Not to say that you're going to be getting married this month. Some of you will. But some of you are absolutely in alignment with that energy. And you just needed some confirmation. You know, so continue to seek it out. Continue to seek the answers that are on your soul to receive. And with the, uh, with the higher font coming out, that stability... That stability, that structure, the marriage, and the job, the the team, and all of that. So we're going to put it right back in there. And remember that, you know, when you have that stability, you have the structure, you have the faith, you have the less stress, the burden is gone, you've got organization, you've got that um, responsibility, and you've got the... Day to day, and that's you. Day to day, day to day. I've got this. So just remember that spirit's got you. Continue to seek it out, what you need. Okay, seek out what you need and what you desire. Halfway there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And our dear Virgo. feel like you know Virgo you've come a long way you know this and you know you deserve and I just feel like you've already seen um, you've seen you've accepted not just seen it you've accepted that spirit has so much more in alignment for you to receive that you deserve 
from everybody, from your job, from your lover, from your spouse, from your family, and justice is served. That's the, you know, there's no need to fear it. You've got it. It's on your side. And the fact that the tower has already come down, I feel like there's many of you that just dealt with disappointment, but you came into December, you know, I got this, and you do have this. And just remember that that energy of the, the sun, of owning it, owning your power, being able to just everything coming into full circle is here. You know, it's definitely here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, that's definitely, and those two, that's different. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. All right, all right, all right. So, I feel like Your challenge here is waiting, procrastinating. Um, you've contemplated, you know that you needed to have this moment of reflection. I feel like you've just gone through some stuff. Oh my gosh. But keep in mind, that you've got support, you've got an ally here, and it's wrapped up in your business team, your job, um, you're a close friend, a partner, could be your spouse, but you are so ready, you're so ready to make things happen, and I feel like you can't. Just be very careful that you're not, you're not feeding this tendency to escape. Escapism is what I feel. Decide, decide which way you want to go based on how it makes you feel. Decide on who you want to keep in your life based on how you feel. But, but definitely take the action, for sure. Take the action. Uh, because I feel like you've already decided uh, to, to take action in a very certain direction for your own stability and security and happiness, for your own peace of mind. Um, but open your heart. You know, commit to yourself, to the love, the intimacy that you truly deserve. Um, because that energy is coming in just for you. It's the warmth, it's the radiance, it's the it's the high fives, the high vibes, it's the it's beautiful. It's just I I am treated like a queen, I'm treated like a king. But I feel like there's some block there. Uh, so be realistic. Be realistic and be more certain that it's going to happen because it will. I feel like you're going to go forward this month and know that you can have what you're seeing in your mind's eye. And you're going to continue to seek it out because you know that it's going to happen, not only through marriage, but also through your work, your career. You're going to work through those fears, and you're going to feed faith, and you're going to starve fear. And I really feel like, you know, things are going to pick up huge and fast, and you're going to feel that love because I feel like every step you take is just bringing love back into your life, and you really need that. And I feel like, you know, Anyone that's done you wrong, they got to face the fire. I feel like you're going to see that. Um, when they do ask, when they come back to you, Virgo, for forgiveness, um, 
don't forgive them until you're ready because I feel like at that moment is when you get to say your truth. I feel like that's when you get to speak your truth and let it be on your time. You own it, but you get to point that finger, wait a minute, I need you to hear something. Okay, you get to say it, communicator, because you know Mercury is all up in your everything and you're going to want to speak your mind. And that's okay. But I feel like in business, you're communicating effectively. I feel like you're getting your clients, your customers. I feel like something major happened and it needed to in order for you to tap into this next beautifully blessed energy and to make your dreams come true. And I feel like this block is more emotional and um, it's an understanding of why you're doing what you're doing. So be close to your whys. Why is it that you're in the business you're in? Why is it that you want to go into this next industry? Why is it that you want this job? Why is it that you need a job? Why is it that you don't want a job? You want your business? Why is it? And again, momentum is picking up speed and you're, you're going to get this. That goal, honey, it's coming fast. Expect success in a very short time. And it's just beautiful. You're on fertile ground. Remember that, okay? Nice fertile ground, dear Virgo. It looks great. It feels great. Um, just say thank you. You know, you're very, you're very smart, intellectual. You're clever. You're an organizer. You're meticulous with this queen here. Direct. Remember some tact. Detach yourself from the emotions. Because I feel like that's that that block. But use your critical eye. Use your mind's eye. And use your human um, logic because that's your intellect there. Just remember to use that warmth from the sun. And don't let it block you or sabotage you. But... Be compassionate. Remember that, that sensitive, sensitive side of who you are um, needs to be shown, needs to be felt. But you've got a strong spirit of discernment. And I feel like you know when people are being phony, faking the funk, and that you're going to be able to say, you know what, I am honoring my intuition. Um... You're going to speak your truth. That moment is going to happen where the tide turns in your favor. So uh, remember, don't uh, avoid the escapism. Avoid that and avoid the procrastination. Sometimes you just got to leap. You just got to do it and see what happens. There's so many projects that I start and I have to scrap. And the first time I heard... Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, the founder of Amazon, say that. And then Elon Musk said that from Tesla. Oh, my gosh. I felt like, whew, there's so many. But the, the blessed thing about that is that if we never did that, we would have never grown. And there's money involved in that time that you don't get back. But look at the projects, look at the relationships, look at the things, the accomplishments that really have worked and mean so much in your life, mean so much to you. Okay, so I do feel like you've got an amazing month here of get ready because your blessings are flying in. If I can share with you how I have been blessed in every area of my life, my family's life, then Virgo, click the links down below. I'm happy to share it with you. And if there's anything else I can do for you, 